See, I don't like the idea of moving. I like the, where I live. Hundreds of people could lose their homes to make room for the Centennial Corridor, but some aren't backing down. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. Tonight, those who will be forced to sell their homes and make way for the new freeway got a chance to voice their concerns. And 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez joins us now live with what they had to say and who will be affected by the latest proposed path. On Tuesday, the Kern County Board of Supervisors officially endorsed Alternative B. Now that means that the freeway would pick up again right here where the 58 ends at South Real Road. It's the cheapest plan, but not everyone is on board with it. We don't want to move. We've been fighting this for a long time. Steve Pierce says he's lived on South Garnsey Avenue for close to 40 years. A lot of good memories. And we just love the area. Pierce and his wife are hoping they won't lose their home, but it's directly in the path of the latest preferred route to connect Highway 58 to the West Side Parkway. I think it's going to happen. They're not telling us that they're going to be there tomorrow with a with a bulldozer to take our house down, but uh, we don't like the idea. I don't like the idea of moving. I like the where I live. Pierce came to an open house hosted by Caltrans today to find out what happens next. He was one of dozens who wanted to learn more about the project. This is critical and this, this is what, what Caltrans does at this point in time. We're in the middle of the 60-day public comment review period. My concern is what my neighborhood is going to look like as far as what's coming through. They're moving my freeway access at least a mile or two further from where my house is now. Construction costs for Alternative B are around $570 million. It's cheaper than other plans because it's the shortest path to connect the two major freeways. Caltrans says they will address the public's concerns before moving forward with the project. If the plan gets the green light, construction could begin in 2016. Time for some to get used to the idea of having to move. It's very shocking. But others are ready for some closure. But I just want them to get it done so that everybody can get on with their life. This has been going on for a long time, much too long in my opinion. So again, homes, businesses here in the southwest where the 58 ends would be destroyed. You have until July 8th to weigh in on the project. Whether it's a positive or a negative comment, Caltrans wants to hear from you. Tim, back to you.